today we're going to talk about the Q-Pulse survey that was done to look at the equipoise, or whether there is equipoise, between the use of phenytoin or levetiracetam in the setting of traumatic brain injury. I have with me Jerzy Saflarski, who's going to be able to discuss the results of this survey. So, uh, the main question for the survey was uh, whether there is equipoise between the phenytoin and levetiracetam that are used for seizure prevention in the first seven days after traumatic brain injury. And the reason for that, uh, that question was because neurologists frequently are asked by emergency room physicians, by trauma surgeons, by neurosurgeons, which anticonvulsants should be started um, um, to prevent seizures in patients with moderate or severe traumatic brain injury. Extensive literature search revealed that uh, there is, of course, data for phenytoin, uh, and it's class one uh, data uh, from 1980s and 1990s. But since then, there have been no uh, clinical trials assessing um, the efficacy of uh, other medications uh, in that setting. So uh, a few years ago, we uh, completed a phase three uh, trial looking at levetiracetam, compared, comparing levetiracetam and phenytoin. And the outcomes appear to be a little bit better in the uh, uh, levetiracetam group. But this was class three study. So, of course, there's still no data to answer the question which one is better or whether there's equipoise between those two. So, of course, um, we wanted to know and we wanted to see what are the epileptologists doing. And that's how we started working with uh, the pupils group uh, regarding developing a survey. And what did we learn from the survey? Uh, well, uh, that there is equipoise, which means that the majority of neurologists will consider one or the other um, to start for treatment of uh, uh, post-traumatic, uh, for prevention of uh, post-traumatic seizures. Uh, as of today, the majority of neurologists will probably choose levetiracetam over phenytoin, knowing the data that are available in the literature. But uh, there is a group of about 70%, 70 percent, 70 plus percent of neurologists who will say that they will actually base their treatment on scientific data, which is the most important thing for us because we want to know exactly what the data show before we choose the treatment. And so based on the data that we've gathered from this QPL survey, how do you think the community, the epilepsy community, moves forward? So there are, of course, multiple unanswered questions. Uh, uh, the question of cognitive outcomes is a very important one because patients with traumatic brain injury, as they are recovering, they are regaining their cognitive functions. And uh, we don't know how um, phenytoin and how um, a lot of trust them are different in affecting these cognitive outcomes. So, of course, we need more studies. Uh, and these studies will need to be done before we can answer the question, which of those two anticonvulsants is better for long-term cognitive and seizure outcomes. The second question that we don't know today is whether the seizure outcomes between these two anticonvulsants are the same or are they different. And again, this will be something that will need to be uh, performed and, uh, and the question that will need to be answered in the future. Excellent. Thank you.